In the last episode, I left you here at Abigail and Pensarn Station. I've just been enjoying the view around here, but our next train to take us to Rill is coming. Come and join me as I'm visiting every station on the North Wales Main Line. What's interesting here is when we're on the other platform in the last episode is because it's new it's clearly been built higher but this one seems to have recently had um, a hump built in to raise the height of the platform I'm guessing back in the 80s they didn't put as much thought into the platform you gotta wait behind the yellow line to go Real, the punchline of many jokes. But we have to acknowledge it is a popular touristy destination and it used to be very popular. And as such, the station showed it. it used to have five platforms that stretched into what is now the Morrison's car park because it was handling so many passengers. Now it's purely just the two platform station on the main line, but it still feels quite grand. Visually, very nice. Like the station is not the punchline of a joke. I'm liking this station. Anyway, this is where we're going to pause for lunch because I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Need food. Sadly, Rill doesn't have a wimpy. So we've had lunch now with a tasty sausage roll. Sorry for not showing you real proper. I'm sure many other people have done that. We've saved the best three stations until last now. Next up, we're going to Conwy and we're going to the station, which is that way. Unlike this sign, which says it's that way. We're going that way. You know what I'd really hate right now? If a Voyager turned up, because they turn up everywhere, don't they? Damn it. We're not getting on it though. Luckily, it's an Avanti Voyager, not a cross-country Voyager. So it's not here, it's here. Yeah, we're going to the other platform because we don't want to go to that London. Noisy much. This bridge seems awfully familiar and I don't know why. This is my first time in Will, so I'm getting Chester vibes. Okay, a bit of variety from the 197s. Next stop for us, Conwy. Looking forward to this one. Can you believe we started the day in the snow? It's definitely changed a lot. Conway's nice, isn't it? Like, there's a little hole in the city wall for the railway. There's a tunnel over there. The station is just nice. It used to be a request stop until the last timetable change, the guard was just telling me. Like, I've been trying to work out for a while. It's like, are we meant to be requesting Conway? And it wasn't showing as a request stop. And I just said that I was right until very recently. So it's not a request stop anymore. We're now going to walk to Clandidno Junction because it's really close. There should be some really nice things to look at between here and there. But the sign still says it's a request stop. Maybe you should take these down now. So Conwy has town walls, but until the 90s, the main A55 trunk route went down this very road through that very small gap in the wall. It's busy now. Imagine how busy it was back then. Conway is really, really, really nice. Shame it's full of cars right now. It's quite high up here.
that's a bit low. This is nice. So we're walking along the Conway Town walls now. We're heading towards Clendidno Junction. And this is the way you do it in style. This is the Conway Suspension Bridge, opened in 1826, roughly the same time as the Menai Suspension Bridge, both built by Thomas Telford as part of improvements to the North Wales coast route. They're impressive bridges for their time. And again, once upon a time, that carried the main A55 trunk route until the 1950s when the more modern bridge next to it was built. And then more recently in the 90s, the proper bypass that goes under the estuary was built. But that's not the only bridge here. We have this one too. This one is the Conway Railway Bridge, built by Robert Stevenson and was originally very, very similar to the Britannia Bridge over onto Anglesey. This is a tubular bridge, uh, unlike the Britannia Bridge, which had an incident with fire and is now no longer really a tubular bridge. Uh, this still remains and is, I believe, the only one left now. So when you're going through there on a train, it feels like you're going through a tunnel. Again, impressive. And I love the way that both of these go into the castle. Tell you what, they don't do things by halves in Wales, do they? Hello. That's a modern one. Nice, but not as nice. So we're going on these bridges, we're crossing the River Conwy, and I spent a lot of time getting to know the River Conwy. When I did the Conwy Valley Line down from Clandidno to Blane Fistiniog. This is the very, very, very impressive end though. And this is the old toll house for the bridge. So De Gamwy station is just over there. Do you remember the excitement they had in me when I was just about to start filming the Conway Valley line? I still love that day. And of course, the very last crossing of the Conway was the Conway Tunnel, which took the A55 out of the town. An immersed tube tunnel, basically all the pieces were built ahead of time and then submerged into the bottom of the river. And now it just speeds through, I would say unnoticed, but it's very noisy. I can definitely hear that. Hello from the lift that's interrupting me at Clandidno Junction. Been here so many times before, not going to cover it anymore. We've got a couple of minutes until the next train. And for our final trip, we find ourselves on a Voyager leaving Clandidno Junction. Been to Clandidno Junction quite a few times now, so I don't think you're going to miss me not showing much of that. The Voyagers. They always come for me in the end. So this Avanti Voyager seems like a perfect opportunity to say a massive thank you to my lovely Patreons. They're scrolling on screen right now and they help me ride all of these voyages. If you want to get your name onto this list, the links to do so are in the description, but massive thank you to you guys. Next stop for us, Colwyn Bay. This is our last station of the day, Colwyn Bay. Another one that used to have a lot more platforms, but in the 80s, the Colwyn Bay Bypass was built, and, and most of that was actually built on the North Wales Coast Main Line, which meant it was all realigned a bit to the north in most places. Um, it took out a lot of the station here. Um, I've seen various sources that say this was re re rebuilt, but I don't know. That looks quite old to me. I wonder if that's just like one of the original island platforms or something, because this side, I'd say, very 80s, but I'd say that looks original. How many station footbridges have a view like that? Welcome to Colwyn Bay. So in full, Jen on the move stereotype fashion, fish and chips by the sea. 
This is Victoria Pier in Colwyn Bay. It fell into disrepair. It had a few collapses. It had to be demolished a few years ago. They've rebuilt this little bit of it now with the hopes of maybe doing more, I think. At least I can eat chips here. Through the medium of chips, yet again, I'm going to leave a link here to the next video I think you should watch. But until next time, bye-bye.